Is that a face? Comes the team mascot. Yeah, that thing on the radio the night show was this guy. He was playing oh, just some Q, Q music or something. Oh, okay. This guy, he played this bass saxophone. How he does it, he can't even see. It's called circuit breathing, I guess it is. Yeah. It was his nose up there. You know, he didn't talk. He didn't take a breath. He sent him. No. A total of 5 million eggs are harvested each fall. Fertilization is almost instant, within 20 seconds of water being added to the mixture. They are kept under flowing water, where they'll double in size within two hours. They're also very fragile. The only way to move and sort the eggs is with a feather. In this next stage, fertilized eggs are carefully washed and placed in perforated trays, then submerged under highly oxygenated water to incubate. You're watching a process that begins in late November and runs until early March. Along the way, each and every tray is regularly examined for dead eggs, which must be removed to prevent the spread of bacterial and fungal infections. Soon after they hatch in the spring, the young trout and salmon are relocated to hatchery pools, where they'll continue to grow and develop through to the fall. When they're ready for stocking, the trout will be 13 to 15 centimeters in length. Inland Fisheries stocks over 400 lakes, rivers and streams throughout Nova Scotia. Fish are delivered by tanker truck, up to 12,000 per load. The number of fish stocked depends on local conditions. For every hectare, we add between 50 and 100 fish. You're watching a tradition that dates back almost 100 years. The stocking of our lakes, rivers and streams for the enjoyment of thousands of Nova.